Thank you for joining us here on a Friday night. Tonight there's a new face serving Precinct 2 in Van Zandt County following the death of Virgil Melton, who was killed, you may remember, back in June when during a storm a tree fell on his car. As KLTV's J.D. Conti shows us, the new public servant knows there's big shoes to fill. Preserve, protect, and defend. After the untimely death of longtime Precinct 2 Commissioner Virgil Melton, officials in Van Zandt County have chosen his successor. So help me God. Mr. Commissioner. <laughs> Cliff Williams will take Melton's position, and he knows the expectations for his seat. In the same honesty uh, with your foundation being integrity. Uh, and I think what's most important is that you do what you say you're going to do and that you be available, and that's what I plan to do. Williams is the final of 10 original candidates, says County Judge Andy Reese. It was narrowed down to four, and Williams was chosen by precinct chairs after a public town hall. Williams has a background in oil and gas law. He has also served on the Grand Prairie Planning and Zoning Committee. You can't fill it. You just try to find somebody that's uh, going to be able to uh, assume a lot of the responsibilities and learn on the job. A packed courtroom watched Williams be sworn in. People that were in there is just a minuscule amount of people that were at his, at uh, Mr. Melton's funeral. So they have a deep, sincere concern for this precinct, for the county. Williams will join a busy commissioner's court. Judge Reese says they're still dealing with storm damage from the spring. We're looking at the courthouse restoration grant that we received and the process for that. We're looking at uh, possibly a new jail and the planning stages for that. And there's just, there's a lot of major projects. They just keep coming. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. Williams is the Republican candidate for the position in the November election. He will need to be elected in November, but no one else is filed to run at this time.